Now, this will be our first project in our natural language processing playlist. You already know the title of this project, I believe. That is, Movie Recommendation System. If you search one movie, then automatically some recommendation movie will occur in YouTube or in another platform, right? How is this possible? Do you know? After completing this video, you will know how is this possible. I hope you have watched my previous video. Mainly, you must have to watch TFIDF model. Because we will use TFIDF model to find most similar words and using that words, we will predict our output. So, let's get started. First of all, you have to download Wikipedia movie plots from Kaggle. You will find the link in video description. Download this data set. And one thing, is your computer fast. This project needs fast processing power. But don't worry, if your computer is not enough to handle large data set, you can use Google Colaboratory. I will also use Google Colaboratory because my computer is not able to handle large data set. First go to colabi.research.google.com and then create new notebook. Here, you can load large data set because this collab provides GPU and TPU if your computer doesn't already have. I will load my file because I have already written my code. You can change the runtime type from here. You can choose either GPU or TPU. I will select TPU and then click on save. Now, you need to first load your data set in this collab. There are several techniques to load data set. But I suggest you to first upload your file in Google Drive and then load data set from Google Drive. This will be fast. So, First go to drive.google.com. Click on new and then select file upload. I have already uploaded my file. This is the file. Now, what I have to do is. I have to load my data set using my Google Drive. I will execute this cell. I need to provide authentication to use my Google Drive in this collaboratory. Copy this. And paste here. Fine. Now you can see, my data set is in my drive. So, I need to change the directory first. After this step, now I can use my data set here. I have to import pandas library. And then read my CSV file. I have to provide name of my CSV file. And then print top 5 data. This is my data set. There are several columns like release year, title, origin, or ethnicity, director, cast, genre, wiki page and plot. In this origin or ethnicity, I can see only American right now because I have displayed only 5 data. Let's see what other origin or ethnicity my data set has. Before this, let me check the shape of my data. There are 34,886 rows and 8 columns. This is very huge data. Now, let me check other origin or ethnicity. For this I need to import NumPy library. And then np.unique will return unique origin or ethnicity. You can see the output. I have American, Bollywood, Japanese and so many others. This means, in my data set, I have American movie, I have Bollywood movie and so on. In step 2, I need to load only some portion of data from my data set. Because it takes a lot of time to pre-process the data if I use all at once. Let me extract American movie and I will set release year to be greater than 2000. And I will print the length of my new data. 
it is 3,595. Initially, I have 34,886 data. Now I have only 3,595. Still, it takes little bit more time. But it's okay. We will do it. Using Pandas library, I can convert my data into data frame. And then print last 5 data. You can see, in origin or ethnicity, I have only American. And release year greater than 2000. You can change this by yourself. If you want to use another ethnicity, you are free to change. I need only title and plot for this job. This title will be my index. Let me print first 50 data. You can see, this title is the movie name. And this plot is the short description of that movie. Let me display plot of any one movie. You can see, it is the short summary of this movie. We have to use this plot to predict title. This is only one movie plot. We have 3595 movie plots in total. In the next step, we have to pre-process our data. We have to remove all the unwanted symbol from this plot. So, in step 3, we have to import NLTK library. And then we need to download all this package using NLTK. Then import word netlemitizer and stop words from NLTK. Then create an object of word netlemitizer. Let me execute this cell. Now, I will define one function name preprocess sentences. I have to remove unwanted symbol from plots, right? Do you remember? I have said before. Using this function, I will pre-process my movie plot data. This parameter text will be my plot. I will convert uppercase letter into lower. Tokenize my text into words. And then I have used list comprehension to apply lemmatization to those word which are not stop words of English language. Then convert list to string. Now, this all code replace short form symbol to the full form like an apostrophe T to not, apostrophe D to would. Like this. Finally, I will return my final sentences. This line creates new column with name new plot. This new plot will be my pre-processed plot data. Then finally, I will print top 5 data. This step takes little bit more time to execute. Maybe, it takes about 10 minutes or less than that. I will be back when my execution gets completed. You can see. New column with name new plot has been added. Most of the unwanted symbols get removed or replaced. There are some other symbols to be removed, I guess. But this will be okay for now. In step 4, I will use TFIDF model to convert my text into document term matrix. I have to import TFIDF vectorizer from scikit-learn. Create an object of TFIDF vectorizer. Then pass our new plot data in fit underscore transform. This will return some document term matrix with value ranging from 0 to 1 including some fractional value, right? We have already seen this in my previous video. But we haven't used the final matrix there. Here, we will use those matrices to predict similar movie. For this, we need to find cosine similarity between the vectors. Do you know about cosine similarity? In cosine similarity, the cosine of angle between two vectors will be measured. Smaller the angle, higher will be the similarity. So even if two similar documents are far apart by the Euclidean distance because of the size, they could still have a smaller angle between them. We have formula to calculate cosine similarity. But here, we use scikit-learn library. And it will calculate cosine similarity automatically for us. 
this line return the cosine similarity value. In parameter, we pass our movie ID twice because we want to find similarity between each vector that are in the same document. So, our X and Y coordinate will be same, that is movie ID. Let me execute this cell. Now, this line return index and corresponding movie name. This is another function that takes parameter title and cosine similarity value. This index returns only index value of our given title. That is, we will pass title and it will return index value of that title. Then sort all similarity scores in descending order with comparison to the index value that we have computed in previous line. This line returns top 10 movies index that has higher similarity score. We will slicing from 1 to 11 because index 0 will be same movie that we have passed. It is not necessary to recommend same movie, right? So, we will exclude 0 index. Finally get the movie name from the top 10 index that we have computed before. And then return the recommended movies. If we pass the title that is not in our data set, then it will return exception message, that is no movie name found. Now, our final step is to get the output. Let me pass the title that is not in my data set. You can see, it will return no movie name found. Now, let's see what others movie it will recommend if I pass fast and furious. You can see, it will return most of the sequel of same movie. By analyzing movie plots, it returns very good accuracy. Next. If I pass Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. It will again return most of the sequel of same movie. Then for Spider-Man. You can see. The output is pretty good. Others movie are also getting somewhat matched to the movie plot of Spider-Man. For Ice Age, it again returns most similar movie. This is how, we can make movie recommendation system. Did you get it? Let me recap this all at once. In step 1, we have to load our data set. In step 2, we have to choose only some portion of data. Because it takes so much time to pre-process the data if the data is huge. In step 3, we have to pre-process the data. That is, pre-process our movie plot. In step 4, we have used TFIDF to vectorize pre-processed movie plots. And in final step 5, we have predicted by passing some movie name. And we found our project is pretty good, right? This is all about movie recommendation system using natural language processing. If you have any doubt, you can do comment. If you like this video, hit the like button. Subscribe my channel IG Tech Team. I will meet you in the next video. Stay safe and keep learning.